Hey, what's going on guys? It's I'm Beowulf back here with another video. Well, if you seen the trip when I was down in Naples, Florida, it was amazing. I had to plan a trip out there again, maybe some other places down in Southern Florida. Um, but today's video is gonna be really cool. It's gonna be an install video. But if you haven't checked out on IamBeowulf.com, the merch, uh, I got the RXPX hat, then I got an RXTX hat that's up on there. And then plus we got the uh, I'm Beowulf logo. Um, got shirts like that and I got the RXPX and the RXTX shirts and hoodies. Also too, the RXPX and the RXTX, I got them in tank tops, which is up on the website. So make sure you guys pick up some of the I Am Beowulf merch. And let's get this video going. If you have an RXTX, he's on focusing, not focusing. So the crucial things to have for your RXTX would be first, I would have to say the oil catch can, uh, cause you don't want to get oil in the engine. You don't want to get in the intercooler. You don't want to get in the supercharger. Second thing would be the I Am Beowulf ECU reflash for the RXTX. 300. Third thing would be a bilge pump. Um, now the cool thing with installing one of these is CDU offers one. It's a really easy thing to install. If you're new to kind of installing stuff, maybe you should leave it to the professionals because there's some stuff you have to pull out. So let me go over what this all takes into doing it and I'll show you guys step by step of how you install this. It's actually really easy, but it's complex if you're not really familiar how to work on stuff. So here's, here's the pump right here. Uh, this is real nice. Now, if you look, there's not a lot to install. And uh, that's what's crazy, because I, I bought a, a bilge pump to install on the RXPX 300, and it's a lot of work to install it in there. Now, with well, the crazy thing with this is, we'll see, like, when you install on the RXPX, you have to drill to have, let the water out. Now, the craziest thing, now, from the instructions are, not every RXT model the RXTX has this, but not every model that uses this hull might have this set up. Because it did say, in, when I flipped through the instructions online, it said this other part you might need to install if you don't already have it. Now, where this is all going to go, see if we can get enough light, is all right down in there. That's what's so crazy. So you're basically installing it there, strapping it down. And then you got to run all this electrical wiring. Now, what I'm trying to figure out is obviously it says in the instructions to run it around here. Well, that I have modified this, and with installing the Riva Racing intake, all your stuff is mounted differently because before in the stock air boxes, majority all the electronics, um, the voltage regulator and the fuse box are all right here now but before they used to be over there. And you can see I had to drill with installing that. And uh, so I'm trying to make sure there's enough wiring that will reach it. It most likely will, um, but it's just worth checking that all out before I start running everything. Um, you don't want to run it down this way, even though it'll look like it's twice as easier. It gets really hot. All right, so the first thing you have to do, let's see if I can get some good light down there. It's right down there, there'll be a zip tie you have to cut. Then you'll pull up. Pull the light out for a second. Then you got this end of the hose. Now what you have to do is bring it up. It's hard to do this one-handed. You'll basically look at the length of what this is to the hose and then cut the length of what the length of this is with the hose so um and then that slips down in there and then there's a bungee but um see the best way yeah so like you cut pretty much right at the like the top slip it right in so let me get to cutting this and installing it all right so there's like a was a cap at the bottom of this you got to remove that out um that's where it goes straight down like this white side up. Um, but I cut it, well I already cut, this is as much as I cut out right there. So it's an equal length of the pump. Um, next step would be connecting this end 
through the top and then there's applied zip tie in the container and you're going to zip tie that top part and then place it down. All right, so it'll come with this black strap. You hook it from this end down, wrap it around the pump, and then push that thing. It'll go back down in place down where it was. Um, this gives you a better idea of what it all looks like hooked up so the pump stays in place and then it gets the pumps the water up from the bottom. It's a nice little pump. I mean, definitely you'd want some bigger, but when you look at room down in there, there's just not a lot of room. It's pretty tight. So, um, the nice thing, this is all kind of real easy to install too. Uh, and the next step is running all this, pulling the fuse box out and placing a couple fuses, pulling out a couple wires to push these ones in. And this pump will be on all the time. So you'll hear it running. Now, if, like you're not really aware of what you would need this for, if by any chance you were taking on any type of water, this would pump water out of the hull. But it only works when this jet ski is running, uh, not when it's off, which is kind of a good or a bad thing. If you had a switch, how would you know if there was water? Then it just already pumping it out until it was like, you know, like too late. I don't know. To me, it's better to have one of these than not have one at all. So really nothing to lose. Now this part that was like siliconed in that was mounted to, it's really hard to get it back in place because of how that uh, this hose is hooking in there. So what I'm probably gonna do is I got it wedged in there pretty good. I'm gonna zip tie, put a zip tie like right up this into here so it just stays in place. Uh, Cause you don't have to be like flopping all around in there, especially when you jump a ways. And the next step is to fish the wire all around. Now we got the, electrical here it's hard to like hold everything and film so it's up to you to kind of figure out the fine details how you want to run it because I can't I can't do both holding and and uh, filming so let's get this all figured out the best is you wait the secret of any type of running electrical wiring you want to be as discreet as you possibly can. You don't really want to be seen. Um, that's why I was saying is sometimes you got to leave it to, to the professionals. But who knows how many even um, CDU dealers have installed some something like this. So that would be curious. I probably think that they've installed a, quite a bit of these if or some type of bilge pump on it. RXTX. Don't want the wire. You don't want it to be like super tight, but you want it to have enough. Um, like you don't want to stretch the wire, so you want to make sure it's like in there, but you you don't want to cut it. All right. Let's see. The nice thing is taking out the stock air air intake. I. It's like really easy running this then you want to go back once you get all wired up is to zip tie it all Let's just cross our fingers I got enough wires to reach fuse box oh, looks like I do it looks like I do. Oh, just barely. Holy cow. This is crazy. differently to maximize the that's as I thought was gonna be the biggest challenge because we're putting the air intake in then the fuse box is moved a little bit different all right I'll just try I tried running it like way too under stuff so you really couldn't see it, and the problem was I just wasn't getting 
on. Because see, if like you run it like this, totally it'd be so easy, but it'd be right next to the exhaust. So the exhaust manifold. And that would not probably be the most intelligent thing to do. I don't think, there's like no, there's no electrical wiring ran over that way. It'd be like a car, you would never want to run electrical wires right by the... All right, all right. This way we got a little bit more cable. Yeah, this is, this is looking a lot better. Plenty. Plenty. Good. I'm excited. All right. Um, let's see. How is this thing hooked up again? Now the next step would be removing the back or the term neck ground cable on that on the battery. Alright, so now we're removing the negative cable on the battery because we're messing with electrical. Because I had the drill on the side here, I have to remove all this. Alright, so I removed, there's plugs, oh, this is just so tight to even like show you guys. Um, the instruction will give you the best, but right there where I'm pointing, next to the purple wire, that's the, for the bilge pump. This is going to be for the ground right there, um, and then you have fuses you're putting in there, so that's the next step. Alright, so I got them connected, next step is to be putting this all back together. That's only if you have the Riva racing air intake. Um, that's where that goes. Otherwise, there wouldn't be all the space. It'd be the stock air box right there. So, and this would be somewhere else. I think that I remember that was mounted on top of the stock air, air intake box. Everything's all re-put, which gives you a lot of room in there. Um, so let's get this all, it's, it's wired up. I just need to mount everything back up. All right, so I got the fuses hooked in. Uh, one goes up there for the ground. The one that says bluish color or grayish color says E, that's for the bilge pump. And um, put that back on. Now I just gotta connect the battery up. Well, semi, I'm not going to fully start because I don't got the intake, but we should hear this pump start up and hear what it sounds like. Yep. So we're going to hear. That's what the sound of the pump sounds like. So as long as the ignition's on, it's pumping water out. Um, so I'm going to zip tie that, like I said. And, uh, Kind of zip up the wires and stuff to see if you can kind of see them right there. Tidy that up, and that's about the end of the install. But watch, as soon as you pull the cable up, man, it's still running. So the thing runs like a little bit as soon as you turn it off. I was like, it was running for a while after shutting it off, and I'm like, kind of going like, what's all going on? But as soon as you pull the key out. It ran and then that's and then it just shuts right off. So that's kind of nice. I was like afraid at first. I was like, man, this thing isn't gonna shut off. What's going on? So that's the install of the Sea-Doo bilge pump. I will have this bilge pump and a link in the description of where you can order it and what one it is. But this will fit all the 2018 and up RXT and RXTX 18s and up, and then also to the uh, GTX Limited. 
It's the same hull. It would also fit on the Fishing Pro. I'm not sure they have installed them in Fish Pro, but it'll be the same on the Fish, uh, Fish Pro too. So take a look at that. It's definitely like the top three must to have is Revo, Revo Racing, Oil Catch Can, I'm Beowulf ECU Reflash. It's on my website, iambeowulf.com. Third thing is a bilge pump, and then kind of take your way up there from what you need, you know, doing an intake or whatnot. Um, but that's kind of like the top three must. And you don't want to have it where you start putting on water and take this investment and, you know, it sinks. So I don't know if that pump would really help, like heavy water coming in, but slight water getting in. I've never actually seen any water in this hull ever. That's why I almost wasn't going to do it. I, the, uh, the RXPX has a lot of vent areas that can let water into the hull. I've had plenty of water, not like crazy, but I've had water, like a lot of water coming in there for me jumping waves. This is pretty sealed tight of having water coming in. Um, but you never know that something wears and then it starts bringing out water. Um, like a carbon seal. I've seen people with brand new ones of these and they're probably not doing the right running period because if you leave the jet ski running for too long, uh, the carbon seal is made to be in the water to cool it down. And if you have it run out of the water for too long, um, it wears out and then that's where your biggest thing to sink these things. So uh, this will probably help in case, I'm always afraid that whole carbon seal thing, I make sure I don't leave it on out of the water that long at all. But man, that carbon seal makes me like real paranoid. I've seen these photos big great white sharks. I'm thinking, man, that carbon seal goes, I start sinking. I'm in big trouble. So, so I put the bilge pump on. But it's the end of the video. I'll see you guys back in the next one. If you haven't checked out the merch, go check it out. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Also check out my second channel, Beowulf Nation. Subscribe to that channel too. I want to focus on that channel too. People subscribe to my channel that do stuff with side-by-sides, um, four-wheelers, Jet skis, dirt bikes, what you know, whatnot, power sport related stuff. I want to post up videos of you guys doing stuff on that that other channel. So make sure you guys take a look at that too. Uh, to my existing subscribers, man, we're doing big things. I want to try to get the summer and spring big meetups coming to you guys to your states to do some riding. So let's try to get this all in the works. We're figuring this out, and it's the end of the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. <laughs>